it's uh, David from Saint ATM. Uh, today I'm uh, aboard uh, Tobago 35, uh, but I know well because I sold it to her current owner, um, who's done a complete refit. So she was well maintained when she arrived in uh, Polynesia two years ago, uh, but it's done on top of that a, a complete refit. So all the halyards are new, the sheets are new, the standing rigging is new, the trampoline is new. Uh, and what's really nice about this boat, it's kind of a, a pocket size cruising catamaran. Um, so she's perfect for a, a couple or a young family, which is very easy to maneuver. So the sails have been uh, checked, uh, the sheets are new, uh, the cables like this one, uh, all the cables from the standing rigging are new, the chain and anchor are in good condition, the windlass has been checked, um, the cables from the windlass have been changed as well. So lots of uh, new equipment or equipment that's been checked and is ready to go. There's a new engine for the dinghy as well. Uh, the dinghy is new, it's uh, fully uh, inflatable. So the cockpit is uh, really nice for uh, a small family or a couple. Uh, and the owner has done a lot of work, so he's changed the cushion, uh, he's put uh, this floor here, um, he's uh, replaced the fabric bimini, uh, so it's all in, in good condition and, and looking very nice. Um, he's made this opening here which um, was designed on the latest one of the Tobago 35 but not on the first models and that gives a lot of light and enables you when you're at the helm to see what's happening with your family inside. The saloon is uh, very nice, um, it's been completely clean, the fabric here has been steam cleaned, uh, Jackie has put a new floor, the cooking equipment is uh, clean and working nicely, so you've got three gas hops, you've got a 90 litre fridge, I think it's really a nice size to go and explore around the French Polynesia. So on port, it's the owner's hull. Um, so you've got a cabin with a, a double bed here. Uh, you've got some storage for your clothes. And just uh, aft, uh, you've got the bathroom. That's new electric heads. And then access to the engine's room uh, with the solar panel controller and so on. On starboard, um, you have two cabins, uh, a forward cabin with access to the forepeak, uh, where you can store your sail or even have a, a child sleeping. Um, this large cabin, and then you've got another double cabin with some storage as well. So very practical for your kids or your guests. Basically, it's a boat where you can have the owners uh, living on port side and on starboard, either the kids or the guests. 